Hey boys and girls, welcome back to Gospeltopia again. Glad that you can be here again today for the Bible story. My name is Pastor Mark, and I want to share these things uh, with you from the Bible. Now yesterday, we learned that Jesus takes care of us. What we're talking about today goes right along with that. Today, we're learning that Jesus is strong. So, so what do those two things have to do with each other? Why do you have to be strong in order to take care of someone else? Well, it's helpful if the person taking care of you is stronger than you, too. Imagine if a bully was bothering you. Who do you want standing up for you? Do you want a kid that's bigger than the bully? Or do you want a little bitty baby in a stroller? There are many different kinds of problems that we face. Troubles at school, troubles at home, sickness, uh, being afraid, uh, feeling bad, feeling sad, feeling like we don't matter much. We need someone with us who's bigger than all of our troubles. Someone who's stronger than any problem that we could ever face. And Jesus is that someone because Jesus is strong. So in today's story, we'll learn just how strong Jesus is. Jesus had a friend named Lazarus. And Lazarus had two sisters named Mary and Martha. And they were also Jesus' friends. Well, one day Jesus received a message asking him to come to their home in the town of Bethany. Because Lazarus was very sick. His friends knew that, that Jesus was strong, so they wanted Jesus to come to Bethany and heal Lazarus. But bad news, when Jesus arrived in Bethany, Lazarus had died from his sickness. But good news, Jesus is stronger than even Mary and Martha could imagine. So let's read about you have your Bible, you can look in the Gospel of John with me. And we're looking at John chapter 11, verse 17 through 44. This is another one of the Gospels of John who talks about Jesus. When Jesus arrived, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. Bethany was a little less than two miles from Jerusalem. And many Jews had come to comfort Martha and Mary after their brother's death. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him, and while Mary remained in the house. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother wouldn't have died. Even now, I know that whatever you ask God, God will give you. Jesus told her, Your brother will rise again. And Martha replied, I know that he will rise in the resurrection on the last day. And Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me will live even though they die. Everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She replied, Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Christ. God's Son, the one who is coming into the world. After she said this, she went and spoke privately to her sister Mary. The teacher is here, and he's calling for you. When Mary heard this, she got up quickly, and she went to Jesus. He hadn't entered the village, but was still in the place where Martha had met him. When the Jews who were comforting Mary in the house saw her get up quickly and leave, they followed her. They assumed she was going to mourn at the tomb. When Mary arrived where Jesus was and saw him, she fell at his feet and said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother wouldn't have died. When Jesus saw her crying and the Jews who came with her crying also, he was deeply disturbed and troubled. He asked, Where have you laid him? And they replied, Lord, come and see. And Jesus began to cry. The Jews said, See how much he loved him. But some of them said, He healed the eyes of the man born blind. Couldn't he have kept Lazarus from dying? Well, Jesus was deeply disturbed again when he came to the tomb. It was a cave, and a stone covered the entrance. Jesus said, 
Remove the stone. Well, Martha, the sister of the dead man, said, Lord, the smell's going to be awful. He's been dead for four days. And Jesus replied, Didn't I tell you that if you believe, you will see God's glory? So they removed the stone, and Jesus looked up and said, Father, thank you for hearing me. I know you always hear me. I say this for the benefit of the crowd standing here so that they will believe that you sent me. He, having said this, Jesus shouted with a loud voice, Lazarus, come out! And the dead man came out, his feet bound, and his hands tied, and his face covered with a cloth. And Jesus said to them, Untie him and let him go. This is the word of God for the people of God. And all God's children said, Amen. You might notice that I'm at a different place right now. I'm at a place called a cemetery or a graveyard. And this is the place where people bring their loved ones who have died and they bury them, they may go into the ground, or they might go into a tomb like this. Now, what's special about this is, this has the same last name as I have. Now, these aren't my relatives, but it still has some meaning for me since it has my last name on it. Let's talk about the lesson today. Jesus is strong. He doesn't just have the power to heal the sick, he has power over life and death. In fact, Jesus came into the world to conquer death and to give us everlasting life. Well, tomorrow we're going to talk about how Jesus made a way for us to live forever with him. Well, Mary and Martha knew that Jesus was strong. They had seen him heal people before. They thought Jesus could come and heal their sick brother. But then Lazarus died. And when G Lazarus died, they lost hope. They thought that that was the end of the story. Jesus is strong, but every person's strength has limits. Well, they both shared their disappointment with him at two different times. Mary and Martha both said to Jesus, if only you had been here, my brother would not have died. Well, Jesus loved Mary and Martha and Lazarus, and he wanted to show them not only his strength, but his love for them. So Jesus went to the place where Lazarus' body had been laid, and he told the people to move the stone out of the way. That would be almost like taking this stone off of here to open up the grave. And Jesus prayed to God the Father, thanking him for always hearing. And Jesus called out in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out! And you know what happened? Lazarus came out, still wrapped up in his grave clothes. Jesus had done it! Well, what problems do you face today? Maybe things have been difficult for you with school. Maybe you've been having problems making friends. Maybe things aren't quite right at home. It can be pretty overwhelming sometimes. But I want you to remember this. Jesus is strong. He loves us and he wants us to be able to come to him, to ask him for help, and to rest in his strength. So many times we try to be strong on our own, and it just gets so tiring. Sometimes the problems of life are just too big for us to face. But they aren't too big for Jesus. Let's go to him first. Let's ask him for help. Let's trust him to see us through every situation knowing that Jesus is strong. Let's put our prayer hands together, and if you'll join me and say the prayer after me. Dear God, you are strong and powerful. Thank you for loving us and helping us in many different ways. In Jesus' name, and all God's children said, Amen.